Everybody loves updates, especially when they bring in new content for the game. And for Roblox doors, that is not different at all. But some of you guys within the community have had some amazing ideas that could really transform the game and make it even better. These are new updates that would transform Roblox doors forever. Let us know your ideas down in the comments and let's get cooking. Number one, custom settings. You know how in most games, if you have your own VIP server, you're able to customize the game and change all sorts of variables in order to make some wacky things happen. For example, in Arsenal, you're granted access to the VIP settings menu, which grants you many more modes compared to the public server. Well, imagine if this came to Roblox doors. You'd be able to change how often the entities can spawn into the game via a slider and also be able to set handicaps such as granting extra or less health, changing the walking speed, and more. Yes, that means if you wanted to experience what Creek did, you could spam the game with as many ambushes as you want if you wanted to make doors hardcore mode. Now we do have some good news about this, because the developers of the game have expressed consideration on this feature in the past, so it could actually be something that we could see going forward with game development. Number 2, Infinite Run Mode. Now this concept feature idea was created by Miss Luna Arts as they are an exceptional concept artist, but they had an idea of implementing a new mode called the Infinite Run Mode. Basically how this would happen is that rooms will keep spawning and you'll have 10 minutes set on a timer before a glitch comes and grabs you causing a game over. Inside cabinets and drawers, there will be a chance of spawning in a stopwatch, which will grant you extra time, such as an extra 10 or even 30 seconds, in order to keep the run extended for as long as possible. And if you end up getting caught by any entities or just dying in general, you will lose 30 seconds or more and be teleported back to room 1 again until the time stops. This does create the interesting predicament of either continuing onto the next room or just staying put with not much time left depending on which room is coming up next. Also this would be able to bring in another leaderboard for the game instead of the one that we have for donations. But there is some good news about this concept feature as well. One of the developers have noticed the idea and they do find it very interesting while Creecraft was vouching for this idea as well. No guarantees but it could always be a possibility to have a mode similar to this in the future. Number 3, Dining Room. This one is another well done concept once again by Miss Luna Arts, but since the developers of the game are looking to expand and add in more rooms, such as the infirmary for the first 100 rooms, she has also had the idea of adding in a grand dining hall to the hotel, which actually sounds like an amazing idea, especially for the hotel. In order to pass this one, you have to pass the dining area without being seen by the entity, as only one or possibly two can hide underneath a table at a time, near various tables in the area. The entity will be making breathing sounds and sobbing, so you need to hear carefully to know when it's facing the opposite way of your table. You must not let the entity see you, or else he will break the table and catch you, so it's a little bit like a sneaking espionage mission, which is very neat. Again, the developers have noticed this idea a couple weeks back, and they actually found it to be cool and surprising, so I too would have to vouch for this one. Not only would it be a new entity, but it would also bring in a new mechanic and room, which is a win-win for all the players. Number 4, Room Editor. I'm sure many of you had an idea like this one, but imagine if Roblox Doors had a built-in room editor where you can save and create your own custom rooms and be able to share them with many other players. This could also be a faster way of creating your own versions of floors or maybe even some concept ones too instead of dealing with Roblox Studio and learning how to mess with everything. The only problem with this is that it is a heavy feature that would require lots of coding for the developers so this may 
not be something that is possible, but you may never know. Number five, Doors Maze. No, I'm not technically talking about a corn maze, though it is almost that time of the year again. We're talking about another cool concept, this time by Cinna Monsters. Not only did they have an idea of a new entity, but this one brings in a new mechanic, which would actually be really interesting. Introducing Maze the Entity that tricks unattentive players with fake doors. It signals its presence by closing the door behind the player as it appears them with two doors. One with the correct next number, and one with an incorrect one. Walking into the wrong door will deal 60% damage and it teleports them in front of the correct one with a brief jump scare. Honestly, this would be an awesome entity idea, especially since you have to keep a mental note on which room you're constantly in in order to prevent losing to them. Number six, Gauntlet Mode. Actually, Creecraft himself had an amazing idea for yet another mode for Roblox doors, and this is how it goes like. Doors update idea, gauntlet mode. No shop, no response, solo only, the game keeps going after door 100 and gets progressively harder the further you get. The goal would be to survive as many doors as possible. Now this would be similar to the infinite run concept by Luna, but it would be harder since once you die, it's game over. And there's also no shop to this mode as well. You better just keep going and avoiding monsters as long as possible, or else it's a skill issue on your part of the bar. Based on the comments though, a lot of people were also saying that this could be a version of a hardcore mode, but that's up for debate really. Number 7, Claustro. Yet another great concept of a new room made by Paik. This one showcases a random room that may have the numbers removed on the door, which will turn the room into a claustro. Basically what a claustro is, it's a room where the walls and ceilings are full of spikes, and it will start closing in on the players, forcing them to run to the door on the opposite side of the room to get to the next room. It's kind of a reference to Indiana Jones, as you'd see a lot of these types of rooms in those older movies, but this would be an interesting take for Roblox doors as well. And imagine if the room closes in faster and faster, especially the further you are in the game, or maybe even trying to find a switch in order to stop the room from fully crushing you, and also revealing the door for the next room as well. That would be some more ideas to further boost this concept. But comment below some ideas that you guys have, and maybe the developers might just add it into the game. Like and subscribe if you want this to happen, and good luck.